Hey there, welcome back to It's Still 90 Fucking Degrees. I mean, Revelations 2. Boy, I wish it were raining like it is now. That'd be awesome. Cause man, is it muggy outside. Summer is here. I've confirmed that now. I've confirmed now that summer is here. It is time, it's time to bust out the inflatable pool and the disappointment in the future. Because it is time for us to kill some more revenants. More revenants than you could stick. Fuck. More revenants than you could shake a stick at. That was a waste of a sniper shot. Because revenants cannot be killed. Even if you shoot them in the limb, the, the weak limb, you still can't kill them with the shot that hits the limb. Even if it's with like a revolver, you have to hit the yellow pus blob. Which is bullshit. Let me tell you. But that's okay. You might have noticed that I took the Thread's advice on playing as Natalia and uh, switching to her when when revenants are around. It, I do wish that there was a way for Barry to know, like maybe like the head was like green if it was the head or something, I don't know. If, if it was like more blobby in one area to conform to the shape of the pus blob or something. Anything, really. Because, again, I keep bringing this up, but in, in raid mode, you have to blindly guess. Which sucks. It really sucks. That's a bad, that's a bad mechanic. Like, glasps are... Closer. Glasps are a cool concept, too. But, again, in raid mode, there's no way to see them when they're invisible. Like, raid mode is so cool. But there are just a few flaws that, that make it suck. Also, Natalia goes fucking crazy when they are glasps around, which I think is kind of funny. Like, she... she can overwrite her own dialogue. So there's another glasp on the upper level, and this guy's a real dick. Uh, if you have tinnitus, you might want to turn down the volume for a little bit. Because... when you get close... If I ever do, you get tinnitus in your ears. Oh no, I was smarter about it. I was smarter about it than I thought I was. <laughs> Bottles will kill glasps in one hit, but the trouble is that it's very hard to actually hit one because, you, you know, they're, in, they're invisible. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, an enemy being invisible makes it difficult to hit that thing by throwing something at it. I know, it surprised me too when I heard that. So the puzzle has changed. I said that it would, and it has. It's kind of a logical extension of how it was the last time. Stay there. Gotcha. Come it's basically me. it's basically an order of operations kind of thing. Just stay there. Okay. Barry can't get through the gate because the path that Claire and Moira took is blocked by a cabinet now. So Barry has to go back the long way around. But there's not enough time to make it to the gate. So you have to tell Natalia to stay put so that Barry can get through the gate, and then Natalia can crawl through the hole. I think that's pretty cool. I, I think that is, a, that is the logical end point of the puzzle. They made it more difficult by making it require an extension of the co-op that it required before, which was having one player pull it, and having the other run through. It's, it's probably the most simplistic puzzle oh, ever. I can't. But it's pretty effective. I can see someone in co-op uh, having to work this out mentally. Also, running through like dark areas as Natalia is really scary, because <laughs> she doesn't have a flashlight or like any form of light at all on her. 
So, like, when it gets dark around her, like, it gets real dark. Which, which makes it kind of frightening when she is on her own. I mean, only when I'm playing as her, though. When I'm not playing as her, fuck it. She can do whatever she wants. She is the master of her own Stay destiny. There. Okay. Follow me. Right. <laughs> Barry, you're giving very conflicting instructions there. It's okay, Barry. I forgive you. So, by skipping over the uh, enemies in this part, I made it a little easier as a Barry. Because now there aren't any pus blobs or anything on the ground. Which is good. I'm very glad for that. Odd. Very odd, but you know what? It's not my place to question the actions of others. Uh, even if they are a weirdo, creepy spy person. So, if you try to equip two of the same part in, in one weapon, uh, from the same category, I mean... It will not let you do that, because then you could stack every damage upgrade on one weapon, and then instantly kill everything. <laughs> Good. Let's pick up the pace. Let us pick up the pace. Let's try to follow in their footsteps. I'll have to find another way. Damn it. Stymied by a broken elevator. First time that's ever happened in a Resident Evil game. This game is breaking new ground. So, here's an example of how the changes can affect your gameplay uh, between characters. There's this crowbar door over here that I could have tugged open as Moira when I was playing as Claire and Moira, but I forgot to do that because I am an, I am just the best Let's Player in the world. Thorough and entertaining. Uh, because I forgot to do that, I have no way to get in there now. Who's there? Keep it down. Very helpful, Barry. Thank you. That sounded like a pretty human voice. I don't know. So yeah, that, that weapon part will have to wait. Oh, I hear more glasps. Great. This guy is a pain in the ass. Because he's got the high ground. <laughs> the The slow-moving flying spider bug creature and as you can see him having the high ground makes him a little bit difficult to target especially when Natalia refuses to come up the stairs to where Barry is for some reason look what is she doing down there she's just fucking around down there for no reason ah my tinnitus well, your tinnitus, I guess. B basically, when you hear the tinnitus, the, gl the glasp has won. There's no way to defeat a glasp once you hear the tinnitus. It's getting closer! Man, I didn't know this guy was the final boss. Jeez. There we go. He, he was having a little trouble pathfinding his way to Barry, which is okay. So sometimes you don't want to tangle with the the bear, the bear man. Oh, look, another glass. Great. So Natalia is. Natalia is a bit of a trade-off when it comes to glasps. She can see them, but she doesn't actually have a way to fight them. I, I'm pretty sure that throwing bricks does not work on glasps. And if it does, it's not very helpful to Barry because it just knocks them all over the place. So, Natalia's skill against glasps is only tertiary. This note is fucked up. <laughs>
That's fucked up, man. That's just fucked up. I love how nonchalant it was, too. Like, I found your father. He had a good head on his shoulders, and now that's all that's left. Like, man. You could be a little more sensitive. Although, I guess when you're going nuts and, like, succumbing to insanity, there is no room for that. There's no room for logic. Sorry. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, mysterious human voice. There's no there's no joke there. I was I was you know, trying to console the voice a little bit. Whoa! What the hell happened here at the end of the last video? I mean, two videos ago. Wait. Well, that's one hell of a parking job. <laughs> Barry, no, what are you doing? Wait! That's gonna make so much noise! Barry! Oh, and it exploded too. Great. Yeah, that's definitely not gonna attract every single afflicted in like a 500 mile radius. I love too that he made another one liner too. <laughs> He's just full of jokes, that Barry. I hope you guys are ready to fight the next boss. Not saying there's gonna be one in the next room or anything. There's definitely, absolutely not a new boss in the next. Oh, hey, Pedro. So this is what happens to him. Alright, well, I guess it's not strictly a new boss. So Pedro's back, and his eyes are looking a little bit worse. Uh, fighting him in close quarters, you might remember I mentioned, is pretty, pretty hard. And usually ends in death. Well, this time, it's either his death or our death. Because now we have to defeat him. If you kill Pedro, uh, as Claire and Moira, the drill will instead be sitting in the middle of the bar, and you can just pick it up and you don't have to go on this floor of the building at all. Which is really cool. I, I think that's really cool. And of course, as I mentioned too, it's much more difficult. But the close quarters help to add a lot of difficulty to this fight, even if Barry does have lots of ammo to go around. Still... Still going on about the balls, huh, man? Yeah, that, even in death, even in death, he still, still loves balls. Although I guess who can blame him, you know? Come on, Pedro, just die already, man, please. Thank you. Sorry, man, but it had to be done sometime. L literally, it literally did. Well, this should give us a whole lot more options. Man, Barry, <laughs> you are just the the most cool-headed motherfucker. He, man, I appreciate that. I appreciate that Barry is here to keep things lighthearted. He is the comic relief character. That role was initially belonging to Pedro, but we saw how well that turned out for him. <laughs> Thankfully, Barry has not been affected by the, the T Phobos virus. Otherwise, he would be in slightly less good spirits. So, now that we have the drill, we can bust through walls just like Pedro did. And you may recall that in the last episode, Natalia got stuck on a door that uh, looked very, very similar to this. And if you kill Pedro, as Claire and Moira, and you pick up the drill, you will have the drill when you get to that door. And you can open it, and you can get 100% completion. Unlike me. Oh my god. Is that who I think it is? This guy's got the same exact bracelet as you. Moira had one too. Like sisters. 
Man. What kind of f messed up experiment was this? Looks to be you and Gabe. I feel like Gabe really got the short end of the stick. Like, he wasn't trying to cut his arm off or anything. He was just trying to, like, stab his own wrist. Me and Moira got separated here. The nice guy came and got me. Nice guy? The one from Terra Save who rescued me. I wonder if Moira made it to the tower. She made it. Come on. Let's see what we can find. I like how confident Barry is. It's a little bit sad, in a way, I think. It, it's, it's very somber that even though, you know, Natalia literally said that Moira is dead already, Barry refuses to give up hope. Hey, you wanna see some fucked up shit? Watch the next 30 seconds of this video. Yeah. Pretty creepy, huh? I had to stop for a second the first time I played this. I had to stop and take a good look at this scene. Cause for a second, I thought those were real dead babies. <laughs> but they're not. Thankfully, they're mannequins. <laughs> So it has come to light that apparently not only was the Overseer trying to create this virus to uh, find people who are immune to such kinds of uh, mutation, but also to control the genu general population with it, excuse me. So it seems that uh, the Overseer really is a Resident Evil villain. Yeah, I'm going to use this zombie virus to control the world. What could possibly go wrong? Well, let me tell you. Many things. Many things could go wrong. Man, I am just... I'm loaded on materials here. I, I'm having trouble deciding what I want to make at this point. Just because I, I haven't been using anything. I like this. What the This is some very unique art, I got to say. It it's abstract, but in a way it still resembles the human form. Cool throne. I wonder if I can sit on it and do a cool pose. Wesker? That is Wesker. Alex Wesker. Two Weskers? You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> so you finally came. What a cliffhanger, let me tell you. So that's the end of episode two. And hell yeah, I got an S rank. Oh great, now I unlocked the countdown and invisible mode. 
versions of these levels that I'm never going to play. Thanks, Resident Evil. Man, I am just the Revenant murderer. I think I've mentioned before that there is a medal for killing mutant Pedro by destroying all of the eyes on the body. And I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's impossible for a human being to do that. I mean, you saw how much he was ducking and weaving. Come on now. Nobody. Nobody has the physical skill and dexterity required to take out all of Pedro's eyes. Especially because he barely has enough health for that to be a thing. Ah, forget it. Let's check out some skills. Still can't afford evade cancelling, and I'm literally never going to buy it. I, I'm pretty sure that I end this LP without buying that skill. But it's pretty useful. It's nice to dream. Some of these tertiary skills over here I mentioned, uh, that are purely for co-op, aren't too useful right now. But ranged healing is definitely a big help. The other two, eh, not so much. But, but being able to heal your partner from almost any range, definitely a good thing. I think we'll save the rest of our points, though. See you in episode three. Enjoy the preview. Next time on Revelations 2. Wait. This is Moira's. No. No sign of her. Uh, of course this factory had to be a fucked up factory. She's responsible for the experiment six months ago. It's got all our names on it. I'll crush you. Where did we go wrong? Where's Moira? <laughs> Will I still be sorry?